a 300 pounds box uh, held in the incline by this force P, which is at an angle theta from the incline. Hello everyone, I'm June Vert of Matalino. In this video, we're going to discuss problem 310 and 311 of engineering mechanics. In this problem, this incline is smooth, meaning there is no friction between this box and the incline. Therefore, the reaction here is perpendicular to the incline. Remember the basic principle of mechanics. If we have three forces that are in equilibrium, they are concurrent, provided that those forces are not parallel. So, meaning, if these three forces are in equilibrium, uh, these forces are concurrent at this point. So, if you are going to draw the point of concurrency, we have here, okay, they will intersect approximately at this point. Okay? Uh, to, draw, to, to draw the free body diagram, let us consider the box as a particle. Uh, it's like we squeeze that box. And this point is the point of concurrency. Okay, this is our point of concurrency. This is the 300 pounds, uh, 300 pound weight. This is the P, and this is the N. Okay? The best way to solve this problem is by component method. But we need a coordinate axis such that one of its axis is parallel or coincidence with this incline. Meaning, this is our XY plane, our coordinate axis. So, this is our angle theta. What is this angle here? Okay? This angle. What is this angle? Our incline from the horizontal is 30 degrees. If I'm going to draw vertical line here, I will replace the color. Okay? If I'm going to draw a vertical line here, this angle is how much? 60 degrees, right? Because this is a... Uh, 90 degrees here, this is a right triangle, 30 degrees, 60 degrees. Uh, because this line and this uh, line is perp are perpendicular, meaning they are 90 degrees. 60 minus 90, this is 30 degrees. So if we're going to extend this line here, this is the angle I ask in here. So meaning that is also 30 degrees. Okay? What is the value of P and N? For problem 310, if theta is 45 degrees. Uh, let us solve the value of P and N. Let us start. I, let me erase that writings. Eraser. Okay. Now, summation of forces in the x direction. The component of P is this one. This is the component of P that is to the positive side of the x-axis. Uh, this is the component of P. Uh, sorry for my drawing. <laughs> this, this one is the component of P. Okay? That is to the positive side of the x-axis, meaning that is positive uh, P cosine of 45. Okay? How about the component of W? If you notice in our rotation, rotated axis, there is no com there is no uh, x component of the unknown n, so we, it uh, our summation of forces in the x direction will only involve the unknown p. We can directly solve for the unknown p. That's why this is the most rapid solution for this problem. Yeah, this one. This is the x component of the w, right? This is towards the negative direction of x axis. So this is minus. 300. This is equal. That is, we, we equate the, the forces to the positive x equal to the forces to the negative x. Okay? 300 sine of 30. Okay? Sine of 30 degrees. Solve for P. This is our answer for P. How about for the value of N? Summation of forces in the, in the y direction? Zero. Okay, we have this upward, our n is upward to the positive direction of y. Let us equate the upward forces, downward forces, okay? Downward in the direction of y, okay? Upward force, we only have n. 
the rest are uh, downward. First is the P, or the let us start with the W. 300, this is cosine, because this is the component here. I will draw a pen. Replace the color. Let's draw color, let's say orange. This is the direction. Okay, this is our Y component of 300. Okay, we have this 300 cosine of 30 degrees. This is also the Y component of the P. That is uh, plus P, which is equal to 212.13. Uh, sine of 40 time. Okay? That is the value of N. And these are our answers. Very straightforward solution. But for the sake of discussion, let us solve this problem in another way. Okay? Uh, I will use, again, the complex method. I hope you will not get bored of this one. I will just present this uh, solution. Erase. Let me erase these writings clean up the screen okay now to to use the complex mode of our calculator we are going to measure the direction of each force using an angle that starts from the positive side of the x-axis if we are going to rotate counterclockwise positive if you are going to rotate clockwise negative rotation okay so for this 300 pounds of course this is 60 degrees how about this angle? What is this angle? That is 180 degrees. For the straight line, 180 degrees minus 45. That is equal to 135. This angle here is what? 90 degrees. But take note that the rotation of this 90 degrees is clockwise. In our calculation, we are going to use negative for this 90. Okay, let us sum up all forces. Zero. We have this P. Angle of 135 plus, 300, uh, plus N, angle of negative 90, is equal to 0. Because 0 transpose the uh, plus, actually this is plus W, but we are going to transpose W to the right side of the equation. That's why 0 minus W. Okay? 300 angle, uh, 60 degrees. Grab your calculator, set that into complex mode. You will get this one. Negative 150. A minus one at uh, 259.82i. Then we can explode this line into two equations to unknowns. Let us start with the real parts. The real parts is cosine of 135 for P. Then we have this cosine of negative 90. Negative 150. This is the real part in the right side of the equation. Negative 150. Okay. For the imaginary parts, we have this sine of 135. Sine of negative 90 and negative 259.82 in the right side of the equation. Again, grab your calculator. Uh, two equations to announce. You can answer this one. To input the this in our calculator, two equations to announce. Cosine 135, cosine negative 90, negative 150. Uh, the next equation, sine 135, sine negative 90, negative 259.82, uh, negative 259.82. We get these answers, the same, the same answer in our previous solution. Of course, you will not appreciate this solution. It looks more difficult <laughs> than the previous solution. So anyway, it's your prerogative what uh, method to use. And so far for this approach, if you, can see, uh, if you happen to use an, a coordinate axis that is horizontal and vertical like this one, Instead of using this coordinate axis, if you happen to use this coordinate axis, okay, which are horizontal and vertical, then you can see the convenience of the complex mode of the calculator. Let us solve that. So this is 30 degrees because our incline is 30 degrees from the horizontal. Okay? Then this angle here also is 30 degrees in the between the vertical line and the normal force okay now this is 90 degrees and this one is what of course that is 60 degrees from the horizontal how about this angle 
Okay? So this is from the figure, this angle here is 45 minus 30, this is 15. So 180 degrees minus 15 degrees, we will get this one, 165 degrees. Now we can use the complex mode of our calculator. We have this P angle 165 plus N angle negative 60 because we rotate clockwise. Okay, negative 60. Then is equal plus W angle 90, but we are going to transpose that to the right side of the equation. So we have 0 is equal to 0 minus 300 angle 90. Now, why this is more convenient than the previous uh, orientation of our XY plane? Because by familiarity, this portion here of our equation is negative 300i. Okay? If you're not familiar with that, you can grab your calculator. And if you're not familiar with that, uh, this equation is this <laughs> similar level of difficulty to our previous uh, complex mode. Okay? So let us proceed. And this one. We are going to replace the right side of the equation with negative 300i if you are familiar with that, with that one. Okay? Let us explode the equation. P cosine 165, the real part, and cosine negative 60, 0, the real part in the right side of the equation. The imaginary parts, P sine of 165 plus N sine of negative 60 is equal to negative 300. You know, that's why this is my favorite solution because I will not, I no longer write these equations. I just look at the free body diagram, then proceed with the calculator to equations to unknowns. Calc you. Okay? I will input this one. I can, we can, you, you can practice to read this equation or these two equations from the diagram itself. Okay? So you are going to input cosine 165, cosine negative 60, zero, because we have this negative 300i. Okay? Next, uh, sine 165, sine negative 60, negative 300. That's it. Meaning, we can eliminate the writings. If you are not uh, convenient with that one and if your professor is requiring you to write your solution, don't use this approach. Okay? But if you are preparing for examinations like the board exam, uh, you can use that approach. But please do practice this approach. Okay? Do not proceed with this approach without you without your practicing it. So, by two equations to announce, we can solve these equations. We have the same answer. Okay? Of course, to make our discussion a little complete, let us uh, solve this problem by polygon method. We are going to plot our forces in head-to-tail manner. Okay? Recall the principle of mechanics that if you have concurrent forces, in equilibrium, if you are going to connect them in head-to-tail manner, you can create a closed polygon. Let us start with the 300 pounds force. Then we are going to connect the tail of P to the head of W. So this is our P. Again, we are going to connect the tail of N to the head of P. Then we close the polygon because they are equilibrium. Uh, these three forces are in equilibrium. Okay. The angle between the vertical line and the normal force is 30 degrees. Am I right? This angle here is 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees because the angle here is 30 degrees. Okay? How about this angle? What is this angle? Okay? If I am going to draw a line here. This angle actually is this angle. If we call this alpha, this is alpha. Correct? This is, because this is 30 degrees, meaning our green line is 30 degrees from this violet line in this XY plane. If this angle is 30 degrees, this is 30 degrees here, this green line is 30 degrees from our coordinate axis. Okay? This is 30 degrees. So this is also 30 degrees here. Meaning the alpha is 45 minus 30, this is 15. 15 plus 90 degrees. Meaning that angle is 105. Okay. This is alpha, which is 15. 
15 degrees. This angle is 30. That is, this line N is uh, 30 degrees from the vertical. Meaning, what is this angle? That is 90 minus 15 minus 30. 45 degrees. Okay? Or you can use 180 180 degrees minus 30 minus 105, you can get the 45 degrees angle. Okay? How to solve for N and P? Of course, you see it already. We're going to use the sine law. Let us start with N. N is to the sine of the opposite angle. N is to the sine of 105. As uh, 300 is to the sine of 45. 300 is to the sine of 45. And finally, we have this P. Where are you? Yeah, okay. We have this P is to the sine of 30. Okay. We already have this sine law equation. Let us solve for N. From this equality, cross multiply 105 to the right side of the equation. We have 300 sine 105 divided by sine 45. We can get the value of N. For the, for the value of P, cross multiply the sine 30. We have this 300 sine 30. Divided by sine of 45, we have this value of P. And these are our answers. Okay? The same answers from our previous solutions. Now, in problem 311, we are given actually the value of P, which is 180 pounds. The question is, what is the value of theta? So that the box will remain in equilibrium. Of course, there is a specific angle theta that will balance the x component of the w. If the theta is very steep, and this, we have a very large theta, the x component of this p will shorten. It cannot balance the x component of this w. But if the theta is very small, the x component of p is long. It is stronger than the x component of w. So there is a specific value of theta so that the x component of P and the x component of W will balance. And that is the required. Okay? How to do that? Component method. Summation of forces in the x direction, zero. We have this P or 180 cosine of theta that is upward force going in the positive direction of x. Going in this direction. Okay? is equal to W sine of 30. W sine of 30 is towards the negative direction of X. Okay? W, that is 300, sine of 30. Solve for cosine theta. 300 times sine 30 divided by 180, we can get 5 over 6. And arc cosine of that 5 over 6 is 33.56 degrees. And that is the answer. Okay? Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.